Today we present the compact piezo brush PZ3i for integration into production lines. Please note that this video does not replace reading the operating instructions. For your own safety and the protection of others, please adhere to the following guidelines. Use only suitable PELF power supplies or integrate the device only into a PELF circuit. Check whether the requirements for basic and fault protection are met. Only use the device in conjunction with a suitable extraction device. The exchangeable modules can become hot during operation. Only touch them after they have cooled down and take care not to damage thermally sensitive surfaces during use. The scope of delivery of the piezo brush PZ3i consists of the operating instructions, the connecting cable between the driver housing and the module carrier, three mounting screws, a protective sticker, and the integration unit consisting of the module carrier and driver unit. The modules are available separately. In addition, you can also order a set with connection lines. This consists of a gas hose, the DC connection cable and the communication connection cable. On the device side, these cables have industry standard connectors. On the system side, the cable ends are open so that they can be connected to terminals. To assemble the PSO brush PZ3i, please use the three screws provided. To mount the module carrier and the driver unit as standard, Start with the shortest screw and use it to fasten the driver unit to the top of your mounting surface. However, do not fully tighten the screw yet. This makes it easier to fasten the two lower screws. Once you have fastened all three screws, you can tighten them firmly. Next, insert the desired module into the module carrier. To do this, remove the module from the packaging. Make sure that the locking ring of the module carrier is open. The red unlock symbol must be displayed for this purpose. The module cannot be inserted the wrong way round, as it is coded accordingly. Insert it and turn the locking ring to the green lock symbol. You can now place the module carrier on the driver unit via the two locating holes on the rear. It audibly locks into place. Next, the connection lines are mounted. Start with the gas hose with an outer diameter of 4 mm and insert it into the push-in fitting. Please check whether the hose is firmly connected. The connection line supplied has coated plugs, like the other connection lines. This means that you cannot connect them in the wrong place. Insert the plugs into the driver housing and the module carrier and tighten them by hand. 
The two additional connection lines for the power supply and for communication are connected in the same way. In addition, there is the possibility to connect the potential equalization at the device. Since this is a PELF safety system, this is additionally required. The device is thus completely fixed and connected. To set the individual process parameters, the height of the module carrier and the angular position can be set using the adjustment screw. Use a 2.5 mm Elm key for this purpose. Once you have set the correct position for your process, you can cover the adjustment screw with the supply sealing sticker as it no longer needs to be loosened for maintenance or module replacement. This will protect the adjustments you have made. The module can be changed easily and without tools. If there is not enough space under the module for a change, you can remove the entire module carrier, loosen the locking ring, insert the new module and close the locking ring again. In this state you can put the module carrier back on and the device is ready for operation again. If, on the other hand, the device has sufficient free space, the module carrier does not have to be removed. Instead, you can simply loosen the locking ring Remove the module, insert the new module and close the locking ring. It is also possible to mount the driver housing and the module carrier separately. To do this, loosen the locating pins on the driver housing with the 2.5 mm Elm key and insert them into a corresponding locating hole on your mounting plate. You will see that we have offset the two pins and simply attach the module carrier by pushing it on until it clicks into place. The supplied cable has a length of 0.3 meters. If necessary, longer cables can be used. Due to the fact that with longer cable lengths, the EMC is strongly depending 
on the actual integration, we recommend a EMC test in the final setup. The other connections are made as for the standard setup. In the upper part of the driver housing, you can read the device status from three LEDs. Here you can see that the device has not detected a module. If you now insert the module, the device indicates that the module has been detected and it is ready for operation. After applying the plasma on signal, the feedback message plasma OK appears if operation is correct. If you have inserted the standard module, but use an electrically conductive substrate, the device goes into fault mode. The piezo brush PZ3i recognizes that no reliable plasma generation has taken place because you are using the wrong module. Please change to a module for electrically conductive materials. If you have any further questions about the piezo brush PZ3i or plasma in general, please do not hesitate to contact us.